Hi everyone, welcome. Hi Nancy. A bit nerve wracking. <laughs> um, today we're going to concentrate on some flowers, but it's mainly once again shapes. And I've just done a few little drawings yesterday of what's in our garden. Like, can you see that? Yes. Uh, the root paws up the top yes. and the leaf. All right. And yes. this one you probably thinks really hard, but I think this was the easiest. Mm, That's a bottle brush, yeah. different types of gum leaves. Um, this one here is uh, and I found mm. this bunch of skeletonized leaves and oh, I just loved it. And that's done with those fine pens I was telling you about. You know, the, the um, uni pen. Oh. All right. Uh, that's another one of, oh, I've given this a long time ago. That's a, um, a native iris. Mm. It's just a colour pencil. And then I, I love uh, magnolia. So that's a magnolia. And I'm going to show you how you draw the leaves. Ooh. And another one of magnolias. Yes, lovely. And there's all different sorts of magnolias. And this one here is another iris. Mm -hmm. um, and then you, you can just draw a pot of leaves. All right. Mm -hmm. And also what I do is I just did these this morning. That, that's a little card that I make. And yeah. I've, I've done a watercolour painting and I haven't been happy with it. So I've cut it up and put it on a card and then I've drawn on it with those pens. And I just thought I'd show you that this is the sort of thing you can do. And I mean, they're just little heart, four little hearts lapping yeah. in the centre. And then a few little squiggles here and there. That's another one. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Another one. Nice. This is a tea tree. Mm. But there, that, that was a paint, actually that was a painting of fishes that I wasn't happy with in the background. Your <laughs> <laughs> card, so I don't waste anything. <laughs> and that's a fish. That was a fish one too. Every now and again, you might see a fish head or something. <laughs> oh, but I've just drawn gum leaves and coloured them in with colour pencil. All right, so we'll get started. Now bear with me. This is um, <coughs> a, a gum leaf that my daughter brought over this morning. Just look at the size of it. Yes. Mm. And, and this is a gum leaf from out in our garden. Yes. Another one. See the different shapes. Mm. Yes. So it, it's all just shapes. And this little one here, this one's mm. growing in the village. See the little heart shape? That's a gum leaf. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and then I found this one this morning. This is off our staghorn. That's um, can oh, you see? in front of the no. yes. the skeletonized leaf. Oh. All right, well, let's get started. Okay. Uh, first of all, I've got a sweet pea here. Oh, yes. A sweet pea is and look, what I suggest you do, have a good look in a magnifying glass and also pull a, a flower apart. Oh. And you'll see the shape of the petal, which is... Um. All right, that's a sweet pea. There's a bit of a line down here. And then and it's got two more petals. See that petal? Yes. And that one grows, it goes around here. Another one goes around here. And then you can get rid of those other lines because they're from behind. And then, so we've got two, like that, like that, sorry. And then we've got this little P shape, which you look at and it just, all you can see is a little bulbous shape like this. And we've got some sweet pea. Oh, in the middle. 
Oh yeah, that's right, it does too, doesn't it? So, as you can see, oh, sorry. Can I ask a question of the camera person, please? Yes. Um, can you zoom in a bit because I can't see what's being drawn. And oh. if you could hold the camera still, that would be really helpful. <laughs> oh, wait on, it's actually... Can't you, can't you just turn it around now that it's just me and the screen? Yeah. I don't think it does. Hang on. We're a bit we're a bit new to this. Sorry. Oh. Now, can you see the sweet pea? So and they grow in all different directions. But there's that little the, the back petal that I did. That's this one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And oh. okay, next two. <clears throat> It's here and here, and then that little one there in the front. And it's just like a, a little pointed thing. And then it's just got a few little green bits here and a stem. All right, so everybody right with that? Yes. With a gum leaf. A gum leaf. And then sometimes something, a caterpillar or something's chewed a bit. And like everything, nothing's perfect. And the main thing, and, and then we've got a geranium here, a little geranium, and I'll pick one flower. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And these petals are a little shape just like that, just like the circle, but we bring it down to a little point here and we've got to get six of them around and the, and when you look at the petals, they, we have one here, one there, one there and then the others are in between. And then in the centre, then you'll just see some little furry bits around here. And you can see they've got little veins in the leaf. Just a flick with your pencil. Everyone see all right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's your geranium. Yes. And now you have buds, and the little bud is just a hook. There's a little piece that comes down like that, another piece that comes down like that, and the flower is starting to open there. All right. Now, with the, this sleeve here, you've got your vein and another vein coming up. And I won't do all this, but look, just little pieces. Just hold the leaf down, Mum. Sorry, because it's just a shadow. So things look hard, but if you look close enough and break it down into the shapes, not that hard. All right. And when you look at those, those little shapes, they're all like this, like little squarish type things. And then you might get a run around like that and another square there, another square there. Now, this tea tree, this was out of our garden. And the tea tree start off in the centre, like that. And then it's got one, two, three, four, five petals. And when I look at the petals, they come around like that and then they come down like that. So we've got to get five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Gosh, you're all quiet. The drawing. <laughs> as long as you're learning. We yes. were told to mute our cameras, so we can't talk mm -hmm. and do you can it at the same time. Okay. You can put them back on. Yes. 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 Ask any questions you want. And there's your little um, 
It's all the diamonds. But, you, you know, they don't have to be big diamonds. It's, but that's what it's like. And it's green in there. Oh, no, it's burgundy in there. Nearly black. And you can see the little stamens around the side and then the, the flower. Yes. yes. And a, a little bud, it's just like this. And then we've got a bit of green here and a bit of green there. And a little bit of pink coming through there. And then let me see. Uh, we've got a couple of... That was nice. ...coming here. And that's your bud for your tea tree. Magnolia. Sorry, slow, slow down. down a bit. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's, a There's a tree. There's the little buds and the, some little leaves. And there's a flower there. There's the sweet pea, simplified, and then put together. Uh, the geranium. And this is the magnolia. Now, a magnolia is... There's all sorts of magnolias. There's beautiful thin yeah. top ones, but there's some that are sort of got like a, a lot of area. And, and so then I'm going to go up here. And then I'll do another one here. And then I'm just doing this from, from, um, Sorry, I've got a magnifier switching on and off. Yeah. I've got lost. Yeah, I think so, you're going a bit fast. People, going a bit fast? People are lost, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll go over this anyway. Now, we'll go up here. In the middle. Oh. I keep right. hanging it. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter. D don't don't uh, worry too much. If, as long as in the end it looks like a, a magnolia. <laughs> <laughs> it's the problem. <laughs> well, they yeah. just, just. What do we do if it doesn't look like a magnolia? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> it's not like a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> and not every drawing turns out or not every painting turns out but um now this just have some uh you know little leaves sort of there from where it's come out of and then you'll have it fairly thick there and then the, quite a thick stem for the magnolia i'm going to put another one here and i might just And like sometimes they twist around, so this might be dark underneath here. Uh, and by using the shading, mm. I'm just doing this from my imagination. Uh, this maybe will turn that, so that's the underneath bit, and it's come around and curled around. So next year when the magnolias are out, now, um, what else have we got? Oh, we've got some beautiful irises here. Can you see those? Yes. Um, they're from my nephew's garden. He sent them over this morning. Uh -huh. They yep. look complicated, but once again, irises aren't, you just take them down now. Let me see. I'm going to pick one here. Uh, we've got a piece coming from here, and it goes over and over and around. Um, now, it's up there. Now we've got a leaf there. We've got another one around this side, and because it's quite frilly. All right, and then we've got a big one up here. Up here. 
They've got it's got six pedals. So I might do that one again. Oh, hang on, girls, I've got to get a bit of paper. <laughs> Now that, that's your petal, roughly, for your magnolia. Um, Iris. Iris, sorry, love. So you don't have to... <laughs> you can have the shakes. <laughs> On the stem of the magnolia, it, it go, you've got your stem like this, oh, yes. and it, then it goes up into like a V, yes. and, and then your flower comes out of here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and right. then. Oh, six, six, one, two, three, four, five. Uh -oh. And then, you know, you've got... Any questions? No. No? No, that's no. I mean, we don't have much time, unfortunately. Now, the other thing, there was kangaroo paws. Oh, no, Grevillea. I just want to show you two. These are little flowers. That's the question. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you, it said had small leaves on, on the iris. No, they have big leaves. They have long ones. I thought I thought you said you were drawing the iris leaves and no, I was put drawing, little sticks on them. Drawing this bud part here. Oh, oh right, right, that's okay. Part. And that goes down like uh, in a triangle. Yeah. yeah. So that was that, and then it's got a fairly thick stem, and there's the, the leaf, the iris yeah. leaf, yeah. really big. But this this little flower here. Um, you all see that? Yeah. Yes, it's nice. What is and it? That's just a little tiny little leaves. Once again, five little petals, and it's yellow in the centre, mm. purple, and then it has a stem that comes round, and some little buds. Forming here. All see that? Yes. So you what you've got to do is look at it and find a shape. This is another one, another little native, and this one here has one, two, three, four, five petals. I don't know. I can't can't tell you what this one's called. Fanflower. It's a corolla. It's a fanflower. A fan. Yeah, well, that's right. So you just do it like a fan. Yeah. Mm. Oh. With a bit of colour in it, makes all the difference. Mm. So we've got that. And then look at the top where they're all coming out. And it's, uh, you know, just, just a mass of little pieces like this. So has the fan just, little... just got petals on one side? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all see that? Yeah, so thank you. Academics. And your nasturtium is five petals. I think it's five. Um, so it's five, yes. 
two, three, four, five. And that Persian flower. And so it, it, you've got a, like a circle. And in that circle, you've got this centre bit. And then they're coming out of that. And they lap behind each other. Not all of them, but most of them. Four minutes. Four minutes? Yeah. Oh dear. Not longer now. No, it isn't. <laughs> we, do it, we do it next year. I don't know whether we will, but if we do, I'll ask them for longer but time. The real classes. <laughs> Asian nasturtion. And then you put it on the side. See how it has a hook? So it's really like a bellflower coming from like that. And then it's got this hook. And at least now you'll all study flowers differently. Yes, lovely. And anyone that's from Donvale. Yes. Uh, you can come and ask me at any time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK, you have a beautiful flower yeah. job given yesterday. <laughs> I just want to show you something, girls. I, this this, this drawing is rather special to me. It's nothing spe It's nothing flash, but six years ago I had breast cancer, oh, and yes. while I was having my chemo, and that was our beautiful bedroom window at our house in Warrandyte, and I thought oh, I'd love to draw that. You know, I was in bed quite a lot, and I thought I'd love to draw that scene. And this tree was about a hundred years old. The only tree on their block when we got there, Lee put the rest in. And so I decided to do it as a whole was just too hard, too much thinking. So I got these little pieces of paper and I divided the window up just like the window pane. And <laughs> I've got a biro there and, I, and just with a biro, I did, when I was feeling well, I laid in bed and did these and then I put them together and that's our window. That's so lovely. it's really special to me because it reminds me of that time. It's lovely. Yeah. And this I feel it helped me with, yeah. with my um, cancer. You know, because you're in that moment when you're drawing, you're yeah. in that moment <laughs> all the time and yeah. you're not yeah. thinking of other things and uh, and <laughs> you know you keep a positive attitude and so, yeah, I thought I'd like to show you that. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it today. Thank you very much. And anyone from Donvale that's not in, in my class, when it starts back, you're welcome.